everybody, it's Lori. Um, and I'm lopsided as always. But anyway, I'm just a little opposite, lop, blah, 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 lopsided. Um, I'm going to do a quick video for y'all. This is what I watched in April. I don't know if I did March, but I'm going to do April. I'm still trying to watch a hundred movies that I own but haven't seen before the end of the year and I'm doing pretty good so far and I might even make past a hundred. I'm hoping but I'm shooting for a hundred. I figured I could do that. But every movie I watched in April was one I owned that I had not seen before. So here we go. This is what I watched in April. I watched Zombie Diaries 2. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I know, I know, I know. I should have seen it by now, but I haven't, so what you gonna do? Next is Return of the Living Dead 2. Not sure I've seen Return of the Living Dead 1. I think I have. Pretty sure I have. But anyway, Return of the Living Dead 2. Um, next is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it wasn't kind of what I was expecting, but I actually really enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll keep it and probably watch it again. Um, 33. This one I watched on Voodoo, um, which means I kind of own it, it, and I was just in a mood. I wanted something mindless and funny, so I watched Blockers. OMG. It was funny. It was surprising. I saw things I couldn't unsee. Um, yeah, blockers. Next was a stand up uh, stand up DVD, stand up stand up comedy DVD of Carlos Mencia, No Strings Attached. It was okay. It, it wasn't one of my favorites. I probably won't watch it again. Um, but it was okay. It was it was okay. Next was Russell Brand in New York City, another stand-up comedy DVD. Uh, that one I'm getting rid of. It, it was hard for me to understand him, and I really didn't find it funny. I, I don't know whether he just has different humor or what. I just I, I didn't enjoy it. I watched it. I won't watch it again. I'm going to get rid of it. Next was Eddie Izzard um, called Circles. He is not for everyone. Um, I have friends that could never watch it. He, he's not dirty or whatever you want to use. Um, he does a lot of religious jokes. And if you are very religious, you would not find them funny. I'm not saying I'm not religious. I'm not saying, but I found a lot of it to be very funny and like OMG did he really just say that but Eddie Izzard um, a friend of mine really likes him has actually seen him in person and just she's the one who got me to start watching I got this one from a DVD sale and I, I love it next I watched Back to the Bone it has Michael Rooker Rooker, I think is his lesson, and Danielle Harris, who was in Halloween 4 and 5. She was also in Hatchet 2, 3, and kind of, sort of, well, no, she is in Victor Crowley, just not very much, um, among other things. I think she was in Rob Zombie's Halloween. She's been in, oh, Urban Legends. Anyway, she's in it. It's an action movie. Um, I liked it. I, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, a friend of mine sent it to me because he likes Daniel Harris. He's like, you got to see this movie. So he sent it to me, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Only four more left. Next is Cheats. It was a funny movie. It was a comedy movie. It was okay. Um wasn't really my cup of tea. I don't know that I'll get rid of it yet, but I don't know that I'll watch it again. Next was Belly of the Beast, Steven Seagal. 
I liked Steven Seagal movies. This one was... The fighting scenes were kind of not really slow-mo, but they were very choreographed, and you could tell they kind of slow it down, but not slow-mo. And it, to me, it wasn't a typical, well, no, it was the typical Steven Seagal movie. But the action sequences were different. The way they were shot, I guess. There wasn't much blood, and the blood you did see was so fake you could tell. Um, I liked the story behind Belly of the Beast, but the way they did it kind of left a little to be desired. Next, I know, I know, here's another one. I finally watched Avengers Infinity War. Um, I know it's been out a year. It came out last year. Um, but it was like two and a half hours long, I think. I cannot physically sit still in one place for two and a half hours without having to get up, move around for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, I, I just can't physically do that anymore. That's why I haven't gone to the theater in years. Um, so yeah, what a two and a half hour movie it took me like four hours to watch. Um, that's what I'm waiting for Endgame to come out and I'll buy the code and that way the three hour movie I can watch in like six hours because it's just not going to happen three hours straight. It, it's just not going to happen for me and I'm okay with that. And the last one I watched was a Scream Factory release from my horror pack that I got that I just canceled. I only got one month worth. Um was Don't Knock Twice. It was good. I enjoyed it. It kind of kept me on my feet. Ha ha ha. Considering I only have one, that's kind of funny. Considering I can't stand up, that's actually more funny. But I digress. Um, it was good. It, it wasn't great, grand, and wonderful, but it was good, and I enjoyed it. I will probably, maybe, watch it again. I don't know. Um, that's it for April. I watched 13 movies and they were all movies I hadn't seen before, but I owned, except Blockers, which is on my video, which, again, I still kind of sort of own. Um, let me know what you think of any of these movies, and, and, and I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. I will talk to you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. Bye.